Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Voyage of Wonders, the Blighted Highland. For rewards in this one, we get 20 scrolls, 10 of each type, which ain't too bad. Unfortunately, no Stargazer tickets, which I'm really hoping for. But then we also do get a few little other resources. Uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, there's one thing that I want to note um, that I didn't realize until I, <laughs> I looked into it and read some text. Uh, but this battle over here, you'll see it when we go through it. You do have to have Anarchy in your team. I'm pretty sure anarchy is the only one you can have sometimes with these things there are other heroes that you can slot in there um, in previous voyages but anarchy works opens the path to get this final treasure chest um, if you're struggling there the cool thing about this is if you if you haven't done it it doesn't matter how long it takes you to figure it out you go okay anarchy win and then progress uh not too bad there as for features in it we have this little ice dude that's going to freeze past by following torches you light up these torches he's going to walk around uh, then we also do have these blue and red switches, which control shields over some of these explosives. Uh, if you flick that, the red shield disappears and a blue shield will come up over on other ones. So it's just playing around with that. Like I said, not too complicated. The one thing that I think a lot of people will get tripped up on and probably come to the video for is the fact that you do need anarchy in your team for that one battle. But anyway, let's get into it. we 
Okay, so here we are on that final boss. Let I jump in here to remind you that you need an anarchy for this battle. Now, for me on this account, I don't have an anarchy and I've been using a mercenary irons to clear everything else, but it's not that tough. I'm just waiting on an anarchy to come. I've already cleared this on my other account. Um, this one, I'm just hanging out for an anarchy mercenary. Um, but if you look at the power levels, they're pretty low. This stuff is fairly easy if you just mercenary and anarchy to do this one. Like I said, unfortunately don't have one. I'm just going to have to bide my time on this one until someone lends me their anarchy. Um, I've been waiting about six hours for it, so <laughs> hopefully it comes soon. Um, but nonetheless, you can just mercenary and anarchy, away you go, jump in and do this. I'm just going to do it right now to demonstrate it. But once again, don't go into this battle without the anarchy. Um, just to show you how like actually easy these stages are. Like, yeah, I could have a level one anarchy in here and have no difficulties whatsoever. So shouldn't be a stress for anyone. The cool thing about this is if you if you've done it once and you didn't realize you need the anarchy and you're coming back, um, it's really not the end of the world. See, we didn't have anarchy. It doesn't fill in. If you have him, it fills in this block, but it's really not too bad. Um, I think there might be like one enemy you have to defeat, which is like the first one. And then you go here, blow that up, light that up, and then you can get across to this one. So if you did mess up the first time, at least it's a really quick turnaround to get here again and do it with anarchy. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.